Good morning, everybody. So we're going to do a quick char cloth manufacturing evolution real quick. So these are little pieces of a cloth like this, 100% cotton. This is right there. So yes, made in China. So we are going to just do this stovetop this morning. <laughs> See if that works. So going to kick this on and. Uh, See how it goes. See you in a bit. So I've got the fan running a little loud, but uh, it was necessary. Uh, but if you notice, it's already smoking really fast. It's actually only been going for a couple of minutes, and when that smoke stops, it should be about done. Uh, it's smoking really good now. <laughs> so uh, we'll see how it looks in the field. Or not, the smoke is starting to slow down. So uh, we should be wrapping this up. So the smoking has stopped, we're about done. So I'm gonna cut this off and move this bad boy off the heat. So a very cool thing about these Altoid stins is they uh, cool off pretty quickly. So it's uh, already ready to open. And you can see that heat source did its work on there. So, <laughs> sorry about the camera angle. And it looks like we were pretty successful. And we got a good pile of charred material from all that stuff I stuffed in there. I, I put it quite a bit in there and it loses a fair amount of mass while it's doing it. But uh, yeah, we'll give this a shot. I'm going to hit this with a ferro rod really quick. Uh, I won't be able to film that because i got to hold the camera. But uh, I'll show you in just a second. All right, you see, I, I hit it with a ferro rod and it's sparking up and going crazy. <laughs> Because uh, the ferro rod material, I scraped it a couple times, and uh, the char cloth is going. So that would definitely get a tinder bundle going on, especially with this adding a second piece, because it's a little porous. That's uh, that cloth I used is pretty porous, so I think next time we'll do some heavier cloth. And uh, but it looks like it works fantastic. So thanks for watching.